we have already discussed this region of convergence of jet transforms in the mathematics right so the set of values of z or or equivalently the set of points in z plane for which x of z converges is called the roc of x of z okay so if there is no point in z plane for which x of z converges then the sequence x of n is said to be having no z transform that's it that means roc is the set of point for which z transforms is going to exist okay for more details on this you can go through the lecture in mathematics then what are the advantages of z transforms and limitations as far as this lecture is concerned so z transform converts as we all know the difference equation of a discrete time system into linear algebraic equations so that the analysis becomes easy and simple this is same as laplace transforms right because that is also converting differential equations into algebraic equations but here it is converting difference equations into algebraic equations and the convolution in time domain is converted into multiplication in z domain this advantage is also there with laplace transforms but that is with time domain signals here it is with discrete time signals okay third advantage is that z transform exists for most of the signals for which discrete time fourier transform doesn't exist this is like even the laplace transform also exists for most of the signals where the normal fourier transform doesn't exist that means normal fourier transform is by default for continuous so for discrete time it is known as discrete time fourier transform okay and finally the limitation will be that frequency domain response cannot be achieved and cannot be plotted using z transform what is frequency domain response that means plot of the output with the variation of frequency okay in control systems you might have seen the frequency response okay so that cannot be achieved using z transforms that is the limitation